<laughs> hey guys, it's me, Charlie. I always laugh before I make a video because my parrot always hears me turn on the um, camcorder and he says, Hey guys, it's me, Charlie. So I'm doing a video on my ram's horn snails. Um, these guys are just populating like crazy. I ended up um, purchasing six of them from eBay and a month later I ended up having like 300 snails. What happens is um, if you have the right temperature, the right pH, plenty of food, plenty of plant um, material in here, live plant material, they will just end up breeding and laying eggs. And unfortunately this um, camcorder that I have, um, it's an insignia and it doesn't pick up very good details so I'm gonna have to um, make an investment and get one of those $200 um, camcorders that shows all the details and I think it's so cool I can't remember the proper name for them but the reason why I say that is because right here there is a little blob of eggs and you can't see them and it takes about nine days actually there's another one right there oh maybe you can see that one the reason why you can see this one better is because there's a black uh, filter in the back and there's a blob there and if you guys actually um, put into the search on YouTube, put in like uh, ram's horn snails, um, go ahead and look for someone who has a video with the process of nine days uh, incubation time for the little eggs. They'll show you day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then on the ninth day they hatch out and then all of a sudden that little cocoon is gone. In each cocoon there's probably about, depending on the size of your ram snail, See how there's some big ones here and then there's some medium and small ones. Depending on the size, there are some that will be in a clutch of maybe up to 20. Some of them can have 5 or 10. Um, I have different batches, different sizes of um, eggs that are laid everywhere. They lay them on the plastic plants, on the live plants. They lay them on the filter against the glass. And yesterday there was none on the glass and today there's two patches. Now. The only bad thing about this type of snail is you can't have live plants. If you have live plants, they'll eat it up. Um, whatever you feed them, whatever color of food you feed them, they end up turning that color. So as you can see here, this one's kind of red. He's been eating some kind of a pellet food that I used to have for my turtle. And I don't have it. Oh darn, don't have it. Uh, it makes him uh, red color. After they pooped it all out, you know, they end up turning back into their brownish color. The babies are attractive because they kind of have a leopard print, so I think that's really attractive. Um, somebody on here has videos of pink ones, white ones, blue ones, red ones, and I really don't know if that's the real color, because if it is, I'd love to get some in that color, because these are kind of boring. A lot of people use these little snails. Um, to breed and to give to their puffers and I'm not sure what else would eat them But I just wanted them because my tank needed cleaning and boy do these guys clean They eat everything in sight if there's a dead fish in there. It's gone the next day If there's algae in here, which there was it makes your tank crystal clear and I'm not sure if over breeding in this little 10 gallon tall um, is such a good idea because it's probably going to bring up the ammonia's high. I end up having to change the water every two weeks just to be safe. And I do have some feeder guppies in here. Uh, I forgot the proper name. Um, the video doesn't show them very well, but you guys will recognize them. The females are really plain. They have no color. The males have like a rainbow on their body. They're not a, a guppy guppy like you guys are used to seeing at the pet store. They're more of a feeder guppy. Um, they produce quickly. Um, I have a female in here that looks like she's going to give birth. She's way in the back there. And um, sometimes they just overeat. And then I also have some red cherry shrimp. I have a female right there. Right in the center of this camera. Let's see if I can point in that one. And I have a total of seven. I ordered these guys, um, the cherry shrimp, from ebay.com. And when I ordered them... It said six plus for $14.99 with free shipping and he sent me seven uh, that was the plus was one extra I had two um, medium-sized females and um, a bunch of little teeny teeny tiny ones that are really small and they were kind of clear and um, 
they ended up all dying um, on the way here and so I had to reorder from another person and they had the same type of ad uh, $14.99 plus free shipping and handling six plus and all of theirs came fine so they are super hardy uh, once they arrive to your house and um, you'll be able to raise the cherry shrimp and eventually they will overpopulate your tank uh, making sure that you give them a lot of fish flake food but these little rams um, horn snails they eat everything and um, the best way to get rid of your rams horn snails without killing them is take um, a chop up a zucchini um, actually just any kind of vegetable that you have at the house that's green um, I would suggest maybe a zucchini just because it works for me chop up something about the size of um, uh, actually whatever size you want if it's if it's the size that you would actually chop up for a stew or dinner or saute chop it up so maybe a half inch in width and um, a circle and just throw it in there um, come back about 30 minutes later to an hour later depending on how fast they get to it and they will all be in a huge cluster eating the um, zucchini the other thing is if you have pellet food a large pellet food you can go ahead and throw it in there and they will actually build a large cluster of snails just eating away at it and you can actually grab that cluster and I've had my snails actually group up in such a huge ball that it was the size of a small lemon and I was able to just grab the whole ball and pull it out and um, I ended up throwing them into the pond and of course they ate everything in the pond and they're overpopulating so now I kind of regret that so these snails are cool but they are super housekeepers but they overpopulate and they eat your live plants and um, I see why sometimes people will kill them with liquid treatments but that sucks so if you're a person who have puffers this would be a good one for you to have in one tank and let them populate or just throw some in your tank and let them have babies and the puffers will always have some good food so make sure they're kind of big so the puffers won't eat them then again you have different size puffers so all right if anybody has any questions or comments sorry about the video quality um, i'm videotaping at night i'm just going off the light that's on the fish tank here um, it always tends to look kind of greenish looking but the water is crystal clear so eventually I'm going to have a different camcorder and make videos where the quality is so much better so I'll see you guys on the next video